Hi everybody, Hans Meister here. If you guys have a trailer, um, you will need this. If you have electric brakes on your trailer, you're gonna have one of these. What is this? <clears throat> it's gonna be in a box as an electric breakaway safety switch, okay? What's gonna happen is your wheel's gonna turn, your trailer gets disconnected from your vehicle, this is hooked up to your vehicle, the pin pulls out here and your wheels are supposed to stop, right? So if you have one of these, you're supposed to have this in working condition, that's the law. So I made a mistake and I want to actually show you guys how to avoid this mistake. I tested it and you're supposed to test it when you go on a bigger trip, you're going to put your wheels off the, off the ground, right, with a scissor jack or with a, a car jack. You walk up to your wheel, you spin it, the wheel's spinning, you come over here, you pull on this on the switch, right, on this pin, and then you will go kick. And you go on the other side, you do the same thing. Well, while you're doing this, don't take any phone calls, okay? I did. What happened next? I had this pin pulled. It stopped. I'm like, phone rings, I answer the phone, and then I answer the phone, I walk away, and I forget to put this guy back in. What happens next? You have a battery in there, okay? And the battery will drain. When this battery is drained, it's unlike car batteries or motorhome batteries or golf course batteries, you can't recharge them when they're fully drained. So, landfill or, you know, recycle, whatnot. Okay, so let me show you something here. This is the box, maybe the camera can zoom us in here real quick. <clears throat> you have a test, a test button on here that will show you fully charged, um, recharged and charging. So when you hit that test button, I don't know if the camera will zoom in close enough to show this. So right now it shows fully charged, right? So when you don't use your trailer for a longer period of time, okay, there's two things that I would like you guys to know and maybe you should, should do. Take these two wires and you can disconnect them like so. Okay, you just pull them out. They come out really easy. All right, you see that? And then get yourself from, from um, Harbor Freight, I got this one here, just like a, a battery maintainer. Okay, this is a battery maintainer, not a, it's a charger and a maintainer. And you can leave that guy hooked on like this, right? It's really simple, put it on, it fits. They're really, they're really neat because they got these little, you know, they're kind of like hooky so they can go underneath the pins, right? Boom, there it is. <clears throat> and there it is. So that would be tip number one. Now. I would highly recommend and suggest to you to not end up like, like I did with a dead battery and then not be able to go and drive because if something ever happens and it's being determined that your emergency brake uh, system didn't work, it's your fault, okay? So <clears throat> buy yourself two of these, they're $18 on Amazon and if I don't go, if I know for a fact I'm not going to use the trailer for a long time, I keep this out charged on the maintainer all the time right and then about a week or two later I'll take the second one out put it on the charger so that way they're both charged so in case you ever do a test before you leave and do what I did by accident okay you have the second one to put in and go on your trip go on your way and then worry about either replacing it or paying more attention in the future uh, the way um, I should have all right, so that's really all I got for you today. So make sure also that, let me put these back in so I don't leave them unplugged because I need to use the trailer. So here, um, the other thing is um, just because you may test this and it shows fully charged or that you actually put your voltmeter on and make sure that, you know, you have proper connections and all that, that still doesn't mean that when you pull the pin over here, that it's gonna stop your tire so before so you're supposed to really make sure that this thing works because you may have a loose connection somewhere going back there to your wheel to your axle right so put put the uh, the tires off the ground spin them pull the pin or make sure that they actually when you pull the pin they stop okay so I hope you um, uh, enjoyed this presentation so make sure you keep your batteries charged and uh, we'll see you next time Take care.